Good morning. My name is Neil Killian. I'm a retired sailor. So, yes, I've done it. All. Oh. That you can picture in your mind what a retired sailor is. We'll leave it at that. The point is, how could God use a person like me? Over the years, I've wondered why I am where I am. When people ask me, are you really a Christian? Obviously, it probably wasn't showing. Do you really believe in what you say? My behavior didn't show it. But my response was, if I'm wrong, and you're right, then I've lived a good life and have lost nothing. But if I'm right and you're wrong, you're in trouble. Peter was an example of someone who used, used Peter is an example of, some, of someone being used no matter what his shortcomings were. When Peter walked on the water, he was okay until he took his eyes off Jesus. He started to sink when the storm around him grew worse. But did Peter fail? Yeah, he failed. But the bigger failures were the other 11 who never got out of the boat. They never experienced walking on the water like Peter did. And that changed him. Again, Peter at the Last Supper said, Lord, I'll never deny you. And we all know how Peter acts. Jesus told him, yes, you will, three times before the cock crows. He did. They recognized him when he was standing on the beach and called them in. And they, after they ate, Jesus says, Peter, do you love me? Peter says, you know I do, Lord. Tend my lambs. Again, Peter asked, or Jesus asked, Peter, do you love me? And of course, Peter, you know, you know I do, Lord. Feed my sheep. A third time, Jesus asked, Peter, do you love me? And Peter was grieved. He said, Lord, you know all things. You know everything about me. You know I love you. Feed my sheep. Did Jesus hold Peter's sins against him? No. A personal example of being used by God, even though we were certainly less than perfect, several years ago, I was asked to be chairman of the board. Not here by the pastor and the current chairman. I accepted because they said they would mentor me. Four months, the pastor and the chairman, ex-chairman, got into it and the chairman left the church. Two months later, the pastor had a nerve breakdown and he left the church. It gives a whole new meaning to prayer when that happens to you. But with Jesus and God and the leadership team, there was no I in any of that, of the church, kept it together, and we grew by 100 people with no pastor. Jesus used us all. More currently, our small house of 900 square feet currently houses four generations. My wife and I, who are nuts, our daughter, two of her grand our granddaughters, one husband, him, John. Oh, just accepted Christ, by the way. Two grandsons, and I refer them to as James and John, you know, sons of thunder, <laughs> all live in the same house. I've done it all, 
I, all I've done, all the sins I have committed, God has put me in the mission field at 3290 Northeast Dorchester Way, Corvallis, Oregon, and you don't need the zip code. Feed my lambs, tend my lambs, feed my sheep. Wherever you are, it is your mission field. Father, we come to you this morning as we break the bread and drink the wine. In remembrance of you, let us take time, look at our hearts, and remember you. In Christ's name, amen.